And welcome back to Tales of Symphonia, where we are on the ultimate episode. To be fair, it does have good music for the last episode, for the final dungeon, so I'll give it some credit. Yeah, I see. Yeah. Instead of it reusing a previous dungeon to have the f secret final boss, I forgot to mention that, uh, where we <laughs> fought Abyssian was where uh, we fought Shadow. So, you know. <clears throat> Hi, Mythos. Hadn't we beaten him before? Like multiple times, multiple times. How did you keep oh, coming back? I'm going. Well, there's a few other times. Remember, he he's kind of snapped at this point as well. Um, he became a he he uh took over Clut for a while, then he got another body. It, he's done it a few different ways. Also, one time when he was technically invulnerable. Home. Yeah, but this is like the third time. Something's wrong. I think. He sounds like a puppet. He's gone loony. Er, loonier. Thank you for delivering myself to me. Appreciate it. I need to thank you for going through all the trouble to bring me back here. I'm finally myself again. Fooled you! So that's what this was all about. Yep. Martel is already dead. How could you guys be so stupid? I'm just imagining the space ball scene where Lord Helmet just comes out and is like, fooled you. Just as I lived on in the Crucius Crystal. That's not living. That's just existing as a lifeless being. What's wrong with that? Um, there is a little bit wrong with what? that. At least, because it's like, for us, that would technically be living as a vegetable. <laughs> so, 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 once you're a vegetable, there's pretty much no coming back from that, right? Um, Most of the time? I think not all. Okay. Maybe not. Maybe I'm wrong then, because I was just thinking, if there was no chance of you coming back, in that case, it would just be... Your soul would technically be trapped in your body if there was no chance of you coming back. And you would just technically be stuck there until you actually were died and went to either, you know, heaven, mm -hmm. hell, or purgatory, wouldn't it? Yeah, I think so. Everyone should become lifeless beings. I told you before, the only way to eliminate discrimination... Okay, I have to say it, and I'm sorry, Gosei. Gosei, is that you? What do you hope for? <laughs> I'm sorry, I feel bad about that one, but that one was so, like, smacking me right there. It's like, Gosai, I do love you, by the way. I just think you are a little extreme, if you do ever watch this. But you are a good guy. You are. Is that guy naked? <laughs> uh, he is wearing a swimsuit. You can choose, uh, you can choose people's costumes, and... I decided to go into the final battle with him in a swimsuit. Oh everybody, everybody else gets either, you know, fancy clothes or a callback to a previous Tales of Symphonia game. He gets a swimsuit. <laughs> or a Tales game, not Tales of Symphonia, pardon me. You, d you, you took care of that. The flying, oh, the flying area. Don't make me laugh. I'm serious. Anywhere is fine. If you aren't doing anything wrong, you should just live proudly in the open. Mm -hmm. To be fair, that line isn't actually inaccurate. Like, there's been a lot of stupid lines, but that one's not wrong. Sorry, but don't act like you're the only victim here. It doesn't even come close to justifying all the things that you've done. What you've done caused meaningless suffering and death to countless people. But both sides have done this. You guys did this as well by burning down multiple villages. Like, to be fair, I will give them that their amount of killing is way less than the amount of killing Mythos has done. Because you know, how long would you say Tales of Symphonia probably took place in their world? Maybe a year? The whole game took place over the course, uh, over the course of a year. I would just, I don't I would assume it's less than that because you know most that games take place like a week. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Mo like. Yeah, and I, I it probably was a week, but I like to give it the benefit of the doubt that it took place over the course of a year because it just 
It makes so much more sense. So, I'll just go with a year, even though I'm sure it was a week or a month. Uh, so, you know, a year compared to Mythos's thousand years, they do kind of have something. Yeah, they, you know. So I can kind of get it. Oh, final boss time. Uh, penultimate final boss time, pardon me. He has two forms because... Yeah, I was going to say phase one. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it's an RPG. I mean... Well, what you call it? P3 has a, a 12 form boss. I'm not playing to P3. I changed my mind. Sorry. Skipping that one. It's not as hard as you think. You just gotta hope that your healer doesn't get... Um, I saw, because th there was that uh, one guy... I know we've talked about it before, but there was that one guy that... Yeah, uh, that's why he quit. Um, he was dumb, because people paid for that. Probably. Yeah, like, I can understand being upset for that. It's not that hard if you grind. I grinded so that I could get the most powerful persona in the game. And it was right. a I did it in one try. Yeah. So I See, it's like, if you did it without the persona, I can understand fine. That's annoying. But if you're being paid to do that money, go grind for that ultimate persona. It's like, not even... Like, it didn't even take me, like, oh, it's it took forever. No, it just, I think it took me, like, same Three hours. before, I just spent the entire day grinding. That's it. Yeah. I just put on some music, or I watched some stuff at the same time, and I grinded mm -hmm. for the day to get up to 90 so I could fuse it, and then yeah. I did what I needed to do. I believe it. Oh, I'm so excited, by the way. Bishop Barron's coming to Iowa. Oh, we could talk about that. Mm -hmm. uh, three of us are going to be meeting for Christ Our Life. John, unfortunately, will not be able to make it. When is that? That is September 29th? Yeah. Oh yeah, why not? I don't know. I'm hoping to get money because that one event I want to attend is in like November. I don't even know if I'm going yeah. to Yeah, and I understand. I know that you you are currently looking for a job, so I understand. We'll be able to meet up with you in real life another time. It'd just be really cool, but at the same time, it'd be, it, you know, I get it. The other thing is Matt Frad's also going to be here, so I am super excited for that. And uh, Cardinal Collins. Yes, Cardinal Collins and Steve Ray. Yeah, I think Steve the rest... Ray is actually giving an event that I'm going. Uh, I might go to in the coming months. Really? I, yeah. I, I, oh, nice. I, 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 like I've heard Steve Ray on Catholic Answers Live, and he sounds really interesting. It's either him or I think someone named Tim something or Tim Staples. Oh, Tim Staples! Yeah. I love Tim Staples as well. Um, him yeah, I was just... Steve Ray. can't remember which one, but they're going to be at both are good. Local both center. are good. Oh, that'd be nice. Yeah, I was gonna say, it looks like they have Father Leon Pereira as well. I've never heard of him. Uh, Renee Bondi, never heard of her. Mag Magnus McFarlane Barrow, never heard of him. Jimmy, I've heard of him. Have you? I'd be curious yeah. about him. Uh, Jimmy Bellaber. I'm not familiar with him. That's fair. Jimmy Bellaber, I never heard of him, but I did read his story. His sounds really interesting. And uh, Steve Ingrisano. I don't know him either, but that does, I'm honestly excited because aside from the people that I do know, you can always meet new people that happen to help you draw closer to Christ as well. So yeah, exactly. I've attended. Uh, Go ahead, sorry. sorry, I've attended the you okay? Niagara with uh, Trent Horn. Ooh, yeah, Trent, Trent Horn is pretty good. Yeah, okay. I'd love to meet Trent Horn and uh, Jimmy Aiken. But I want to meet. Uh, Jimmy Aiken too. Jimmy Aiken would be really cool. Yeah. Like he he's he's a swell dude and he's gone through so much. There goes form one by the way. Mm -hmm. Is My it three forms again? Two. And then I cook here so we can go into the next fight with a little bit more health. So that's nice. Here we go. Don't ask. I know, don't ask. I don't, I don't know. Don't ask. That's the final boss? That's the final boss. This is it, boys and girl. We're going in! And he's already 5,000 health less. So, you know. Oh, that's funny. Oh, Lloyd died, though. Time to pick him back up. The, the final boss music is pretty good, though. I do have to admit that. <clears throat> Like this music is pretty, pretty awesome. Mm -hmm. It reminds me of a not as good version of the Golden Sun: The Lost Age final boss fight. Somewhat, just a little bit. Yeah. Prism Stars is broken, so obviously I use it frequently. 
Then I have Lloyd run away so he can heal. Perseia, run! <laughs> There we go. He's probably at about half health already. Grant me thy strength. I would also assume that he has less uh, defense than Abyssian, because <laughs> we are on his second form, and he's already... I probably... Yeah, like, he's half health. And it's only been five fin minutes that we fought this form, and this guy's had two forms as opposed to just one, so... You know. Mythos could not have done anything against this guy. Understood. Except for pouted and cried. Meteor Storm is not an awful spell, but it's not great. Against Mythos, that's good just because of how big this hitbox is. Oh, he's almost dead. 5,000 health. Let's finish. Let's go home. Let's pack this up, boys. Ah! <laughs> 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 Alright guys, final cutscene time, and credits. It's been a long journey. It's been a long <laughs> journey. Bye, Mythos. Come on, talk to us a little bit more. We have to get some more exposition out of the way, we know. Mythos is dying. It's just like Alicia. Mythos will continue to live as long as the Crucius Crystal exists. Get a smash that crystal. And eventually, I will be taken over by the crystal. Didn't you just say that Mythos. living as a lifeless being is okay, though? Tired of playing your game of good and evil? Hurry up and destroy the crystal. Daryl's car line will continue to drift away. Mythos! Do it now. Or I... Too. I'm no longer myself. You don't get a feel pit. We don't get... We, I'm sorry, Mythos. Or I don't have any pity. Please! Help him! Let him die while he's still himself! I would do that. I would grant him the death. Alright. I don't know, like... This is a really good question. Would that technically be euthanizing him, essentially? Because he probably can't come back at this point. And, like, he would... He's gonna end up dying to begin with anyway. No, he technically doesn't die at this point. He just would become... Like, he would go in mentally insane because, like, you'd be stuck in a crystal for all eternity at this point. Well, I mean, I don't know. It's sort of like... I, it's almost crueler because like in new vegas you can take mr house out and then put him back in only he has no control over everything so he lives in the tube for the rest of his life till he dies um yeah i guess that's true you could have lived with us in our world in my world i should record sonic 06 damn it <laughs> i think i'll do this i, I want to do some more side scrollers first i've kind of been wanting to play the Mega Man series for us Especially mm -hmm. since they just announced Mega Man 11. Ten years later, Capcom! <laughs> it's been ten years since we got a new Mega Man game. At least at least they finally did it. Ten years is a long time. There's been people that died waiting for a new Mega Man game. There's been people that have died waiting for a lot of things, to be honest. That's true. Oh. That is true. The old master of the pact is no more. What does the new master of the pact ask of this sword? Do you play MP3s? Restore the truth <laughs> of our two worlds. No, only MP4s. Oh, dang it. Nobody uses those. Oh, anime cutscene time. I think we get one more after this. If I remember correctly, the PS2 version had a few more. Like, the GameCube was stronger, but it didn't have as much disk space, what's the problem? Let's go, my god. Oh, hey, we're splitting the world in two. 
I don't think that's what's actually happening. That, I think uh, we're. Is that a rural borealis? <laughs> no, <laughs> that's my steamed hams. Oh, uh, so you say this time of year, this time of day. Ah, that would have been good entirely, too. Entirely in your world. May I see it? No. Oh. Well, I must say, John, you do find you do steam a good ham. I have that entire. I could probably dub that from complete memory. I've What's seen it so on? many times. Uh, I've only seen it a few times. That is one of the better Simpsons sketches, though. Well, now it's even like now it doesn't seem as funny to me now because of uh, how many times how much I've it's seen been it. memed. Yeah, I can understand that. Uh, to be fair, you lost your moment. There was an, a thing that looked more like the Aurora Borealis. That's okay though. Hi guys. We are helping! I wish he's got it. Where's Maxwell? We got Maxwell too. Why is yeah, he not here? I was gonna say he wasn't in there. But there is no link. Without a link, the land will die. What do you mean? Exactly what I just said. Without a link, the land will die. <laughs> in order to prevent its destruction. If it returns to its true form. The world lacks the mana. Huh, almost like Mythos was trying to help the world or something. I don't know. Crazy, right? I don't even know why it's dying. What do we need to do to stop it? Support the two worlds by linking them with a giant tree. The tree. The way to stop the destruction of the land. Does the tree... We need to awaken the giant Carmen tree. Uh, the tree... I get it. The tree is... The tree is... Not Yggdrasil, actually. It was originally... That's good. No, really the first is you just still supposed to be the world tree in North America. The the first the first tree was Yggdrasil before it got cut down, but now that it has a uh, Martell soul in it, it's Martell. Oh. Oh, also Mythos is called Yggdrasil for some reason. I forgot about that until now. That's probably also part of it. Did I ever mention the legend of uh, Saint Boniface and the Thorog? It's not a yeah, legend that the Jesuits would tell you. So uh, so oh, never mind. Uh, Saint Boniface went to Germania mm -hmm. and came across a bunch of Norse pagans and their Thor tree, which is like a tree consecrated to Thor oh, or something. Oh, yeah, I do remember. And Go ahead, though. he was like, hey, I bet you I could chop this tree down and Thor won't do anything to stop me. And they were like, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. go ahead. And so he chopped it down. And they were like, oh, oh. <laughs> And Thor okay. didn't do anything to stop him, cause you know, <laughs> Thor kind of doesn't exist. Out of the wood, so yeah. and they converted. So they, oh, I guess. And then it became a practice of chopping down George, uh, Thor trees and finding out that they weren't getting struck by lightning when they did it. So nice. Thor wasn't necessarily stopping them. Right. Don't go. Please wake up. Wake up, Martell. We need you. I can. Hold on. Wait. I can fly. 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 <laughs> Yeah, unexplained wings all of a sudden, by the way. <laughs> I'm sure there's a fan explanation, honestly, but... Maybe he's part elf now because he... Oh, he... I guess he is part elf now because of the way that he can uh, use the sword. They did actually explain that partially. That you can use some kind of crazy, you know, thing so you're part elf. So I guess that would mean Colette's part elf too. James, <clears throat> you rappers. No, that's not James actually. I think that's is. One it's Kate, by the way. Okay. Uh, that's fair. <laughs> I know. I saw that. I'm so used to is. I'm sorry, Kate. Yeah. Oh, Never mind. It's James. <laughs> It's both of us. Okay. Actually, it's me. I have uh, a bag of food. Ah. With me. You guys ready for another anime cutscene? On me from. Here's that robot that speaks in caps. <laughs> I always found that jarring. It just, just screaming everything. You ready for her to not start speaking in caps all of a sudden? She sounds like. Well, she now absorbed Martell's soul, so, you know. That's why she's relevant to the story, by the way.
Martel, that's an interesting dress. It's not <laughs> bad, though. Yeah. Anime cutscene for exp... They don't really explain this anywhere. I don't think they explain this anywhere, really. To be fair, I... There might be, like, you know, some kind of lore hidden through side stories that I missed, or books that I missed. Stuff like that. I'm gonna take over your body now. Bye! <laughs> to be fair, Tabitha's a robot, so does it really matter if she takes over her body? Uh... Actually, that's I'm a very not sure. interesting question, yeah. It seems does more it... or less like she consented to it, so... That's true, too, yeah. Does her does it, does it make her human? No, uh, I think she's part See? robot still. I don't remember. No, because she has uh, soul. I guess, I guess it would. Point three. And, um, mm -hmm. Oh, that's right, I, I forgot about that, whole, yeah, yeah. I just this whole dilemma is, hey, I'm an android, but... Mm -hmm. I kind of also have feelings and i can think and know right. what it's like to be human even if i don't have flesh I am Martel, and, also the and they're technically your canon itself. love interest i think your hope, as well as this is world. where oh, uh, persona 3 Shh. So your they don't have any subtitles they're actually talking Why don't they have subtitles? Yeah, you'd think they'd put them in because they're, it's kind of quiet. It's quiet and, you know, it's actually relevant to the plot. They just make so. Wait, that tree grew fast! Hold on. So, gotcha. Well then, how do we protect it? You must provide the tree with love and adoration. Ooh. As long as those conditions are met. <laughs> Sorry, this isn't a. This isn't the holy body of Christ. No adoration here. <laughs> Thank you. How do you how do you bring it love? Do you uh, like occasionally bring it some flowers? Um, read to it. <laughs> I don't know if that's necessarily love. I mean, unless it's like love poetry. Oh, tree. I love you so much. Without you, we would die. Please live. I mean, I know you're not technically a tree, but you're almost yeah. a tree. Reminds me of the game uh, Legend of Mana. Yeah. Which they're re releasing that next month, by the way. <gasps> really? Yeah, HD, I think. Oof! I have to play that. I've never played it, actually. I've been meaning to, but I've never had an opportunity. Uh, the ami- oh, well... I don't do One emulators. <laughs> I've heard it's an amazing game. Now that it's gonna be- The only problem I have with it is that it's $40. Make it $20, guys. It's a 3 year old game. Come on. I get that they had to do work for it because it's HD, but... And we are over. We. Uh, Tara Strong, you were Persea. We knew that. Why am I saying? Oh, what? Tara Strong is there. The girl without a soul that talks like a robot. For uh, what should we call it? My girl Jennifer Hill. Yeah. Sheena. Yeah, I heard her. Oh yeah, yeah. I recognize her James, voice. Why does James Arnold Taylor sound familiar? Tara Strong uh, was also Kareem. Robin Icon Downs. Ooh. Additional voices, Bill Farmer, Chris... I don't know those additional voices, actually. You don't recognize Fred Tadeschiore? No, I don't. Should I? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think anybody oh. does. Anyway. Okay. Other than maybe him and his family. Uh <laughs> 
To be f <laughs> now, hold on a second. Let's go to IMDb. Fred Ta is sure a T A D A S C I O R E. I think I got him. I think I got him. Uh, he was in Final Fantasy VII: Advent Children. Mm. Let me see. It doesn't actually have a listing of. Hold on. All it has is a mini bio. That's weird. You might not Maybe. be too involved then. Oh, wait, hold on. I got it now. Uh, he was in the Spider Man 2017 to 2018 series. Uh, he was in the DC Superhero Girls. Pickle and Peanut, which I don't think lasted long because it was a bad show. Uh, the Adventures of Kid Danger. Adventures, Avengers Ensemble. I might not be thinking Pe Pickle and Peanut, by the way. Uh, Bravest Warriors, which I did not enjoy. Scooby Doo and Batman, the Brave and the Bold. Uh, Family Guy. All right, he's Scooby Doo and Batman. The yes. Brave and the Bold. Yes. Oof. I need to see Oof. this. <laughs> Hold on, let me pull it up. Uh, he was in Family Guy, so that doesn't matter because Family Guy is garbage. Mm. Oh wait, it's Batman, the Brave and the Bold. I, I thought it was. Ooh, I need yeah, to see that too. <laughs> Batman the Brave and the Bold was actually pretty good. Uh, Troll Hunters. Oh, he was Harvey Bullock, too. I love Harvey. Uh, the Powerpuff Girls, the new one, so doesn't matter. Justice League action. A story. Let's just go down to where we might recognize him. Hold on. Oh, no. I feel so bad for him now. He was in the Emoji movie. What is he? Additional uh, voices? Maybe? Yeah, he's additional voices. He was in the Crash Bandicoot Insane Trilogy. Why don't I just, uh, I'll just scroll down a few years. We'll probably, let me see. Hotel Transylvania 2. He's just done a bunch of stuff, how about that? Like, he's done a lot of stuff. I'm just looking for... Uh, he was, nope. Was just... Well, to be fair, he's been in more stuff. It's just we probably wouldn't recognize him because he's not, like... It doesn't sound like he's a very well-known one. Uh, let's see. No, he was in The Wonderful 101, though. I love The Wonderful 101. He was in the Deadpool video game as Cable and Blockbuster. Ooh. Let me see. Apparently, he voices Solomon Grundy very frequently, so that's one that we know him as Solomon Grundy, born on a Monday, christened on Tuesday. Don't remember the rest now. <laughs> uh, yeah, it looks like the main thing we know him from is Solomon Grundy, or as. He was in Kung Fu Panda 2 as Panda Dad. Aren't there three of those films? I, yes, like, there I lost count after the first one. There might be even four now. I don't... I don't know. Oh, here we go. This is one John will be interested in. He was in Fallout New Vegas. What is additional voices? Uh, Tabitha. Rhonda. Tour Guide. Wait, hang on. This is a guy we're talking about, right? Yeah. Oh, wait. Tabitha and... Yeah, I remember. Tabitha was a super mute with a man's voice. I remember now. I was going to say, are they ghouls? Because I was going to say, did somebody touch a this baguette? They got to be ghouls. These are long credits, by the way. The music's really nice, though. I got to admit. We were talking over it, but the music is really nice. Uh, I think that's... If you want, you guys can just look him up. I think, as of the moment, we've read off enough stuff that he's been in, yeah. Yeah, I'll go a little bit further. Let's see. I'm just curious now. Okay, that's enough. He's apparently done a lot of stuff, actually. So just because we don't know him doesn't mean he hasn't done stuff. Let me see. What happened? China drops Star Wars from 
Han Solo title. Oh, uh, because it. Oh. Because it must not. Um, to them, they didn't get the original trilogy Star Wars films. Right. So that's the only thing that the new ones have going for them. Like mm-hmm. they're built off of it. Mm-hmm. So the film series by gotcha. themselves, they mm-hmm. approaching it like that. They didn't like. It. Yeah. Oh yes, Colette. You have made us all proud, child. Welcome home, Colette. Welcome home to the Happiness Hotel. Until the sequel, where we decide that's not true. To do? Go back to I don't remember correctly. I don't remember. No. We're going out to visit new lands. We're going around the world to try and make it easier for half elves to be accepted. It sounds like you have a difficult journey ahead of you. Yeah, but we. Return to Isalia when we're tired. Yeah. We will always have a home there. Hi, everyone. I'm back. Sheena, I'm so glad you're safe. Congratulations, Sheena. Did you just have a man's voice and you're a woman? I think, unless that's a man. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say, unless it's a man. To inform everyone about the revival of the Igaguri style. Yes, and for when Kuchinawa returns as well. <laughs> because we didn't let him kill himself. <laughs> Otherwise, he would not be coming back, guys. Wait, he is coming back? Oh, eventually, probably, yeah. Hey, sorry, I tried to kill you and then tried to ritually kill myself afterwards. No, he, we forgave him, and to be fair, it would be the good Catholic thing to do to forgive him. Well, then, what would you have me do? Oh, is this guy new pope? No, this is the king that the pope was poisoning, remember? So then who's pope now? There is no pope anywhere. You see, that's what happens in one of the, the Final Fantasy storylines. When one of the popes is... Is, well, yeah. is called an archbishop. One of the archbishops goes bad and he's not there anymore. Then it's like, okay, well, well now what? Because now there's, you know, he's not here, mm-hmm. so the entire structure is going to fall apart. Yeah. Asha, I'm finally myself again. You have been since last time you met her, Prisea. Oh, by the way, I feel super bad for Prisea. She's been 13 for 16 years. Oh, 15. No, wait, 16. She's been 12 for 16 years. Pardon me. I was close. Sure, she should be around 28 then? Yeah, she just said that, yeah. Now that that's done, we can rest assured that no new X spheres will be excavated. That's good to hear. What are your plans now? To make more X spheres, I mean. resources of my company to revitalization projects in order to build a new and better world. I'll help too. I'm sure Alicia and Daddy would have wanted me to. Are you really going to Darius, Carlon? If a half elf of Crucius remains here, the other half elves will have no place to live. Yeah, we can just burn your face a little bit, tear off your hair. You, nobody can remember your Kratos. Your so your your sot rack or sot arc. Yeah. Sot rack. So, something that actually happens in the sequel. No, no, it's not. I wouldn't be surprised. Rack, the one. Okay. Yeah. Time for me to go. Please use that sword to send us I wouldn't be surprised if that had happened, honestly. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, Dad. Goodbye, Grand Dad. Sorry. My son, <laughs> Dad. Pops. Poppy. Poppy. I don't know the for Dad. <laughs> hey, Poppy. Why don't we go get a smoke? No dice. Which I have a friend that calls me Padre now because um, which McCart? Santiago. Because he, no, because he knows I'm a, I'm a Catholic, and I said I went to the seminary once, so he calls me Padre now. <laughs> <laughs> that is a little bit funny, honestly. I had somebody ask me to perform an annulment for them. <laughs> <laughs> Tissue. Were you even? Were you even wearing? You weren't probably weren't even wearing a cassock, so why would they ask you to do that? And has his. And besides. Like. It's He's a uh, family friend's dad, so oh, okay. he knows that I was yeah. up with the brothers for a while. I was gonna say, normally it's just, it's not until you're wearing a cassock well, that people confuse you I'm for off. a freeze. And I wouldn't be wearing a cassock at any point anyway. 
Right. Yeah, I was gonna say you were you were looking it up. I think we have one last thing, and then we'll be done. Was that for this? Oh yeah, I think. What is it? Showcasing some items. And they lived happily ever, ever after. after. I think I did one thing just to. Sh I'll, I want to see if I'm right. Hold on. Maybe I did. Sh I can't remember what I did exactly. We'll find out. Hold on. <clears throat> I want to see if I'm right. Nope. Okay. I thought I thought I did that, but yeah, I'm just showing what you kind of get if you do happen to. I show off the game record took 124 hours, so that's a thing. <laughs> and then you can continue the game, which happens to just start you back onto the first disc and you start the game over. But you get to keep your grade from where you were previously. And as soon as I switch the disc, it will show you that. And I basically just show I showed off a few things. I thought about happening to show off the uh, intro one last time. But I decided not to do that, just because we'd already seen it twice at this point. Mm -hmm. Does it play when you switch the disc? What was that? Does it plays when you switch the disc? Or yeah, it plays. Start this yeah. No, it doesn't have to. I chose to put that in there just to show uh, what, how, how far we'd gotten. So basically, this is all the stuff you can get. You can get max HP. Uh, you can get half experience if you want, which I don't know why you do. You can increase your experience up to ten times or two times each okay. one costs an amount the 10 times experience costs 3000 which makes some sense then increase the grade earned in battle but as i said i did not have enough grade so as to unlock everything but for the most part they're mostly pretty cheap except for the really good stuff now that is not but yeah, I was going to say that two times experience probably would have helped out a lot, honestly. So I probably would have done that if I'd had a save file back about nine years ago. My uh, flash card, whatever, I can't remember what it's, memory card, got corrupted. So unfortunately, I deleted my save file. So How did it get corrupted? Or just randomly? Um, It accidentally ended up underneath my refrigerator, so it got crushed a little bit. It still works, oh. but yeah. Oh. It accidentally got under a fridge ticket. I have no idea. <laughs> I can't. I can't remember. It was in a dorm, so I think that explains it all. Mm. Maybe I did show it. Oh, I did. Okay, I did. I can't remember. Just kind of showing where we started off, so as to end the video. It just feels good to know we're done. In order to take yeah. Place, grieving over the loss, it's the like a uh, disappeared into the heavens. Well, I don't think it's not as uh, the not as much as, as of a release as finishing like an exam or something, but it's certainly a long me, journey done. Yes, <laughs> and I would do it all over again. But at the same time, I'm still glad to be done. Yeah. The angels bore the Honestly, without this game, we would not have really started the commentary channel. So while we would just had shovel light, to be honest. Yeah. Or we might have started some good games too. This is a good game. It's just a long game. A long game does not. A long game does not make a bad game. Uh, but that'll do it. Thank you for watching this series. Uh, we'll be continuing with Deus Ex, as I think I said last time. Uh, so we'll be starting with the game that technically comes first in the series, so it's the worst game. Hooray. Um, but I'll do it. Until next guys, time, guys. Packs up bonum.